And it was really a challenge for her to walk. I was dumbfounded, mortified. I really just couldn't get her off my mind. I really jumped on the idea of fostering. We wanted her to lose at least 50 pounds. Walkie walkie, I know it's early. One of her main physical challenges was literally just standing up. She could not stand to eat her food or to drink her water. I have to take a rest every once in a while because she can't keep up with these two knuckleheads. And that's okay, we don't mind taking a rest. It took a little bit for her to play. The most rewarding part for me was really seeing her become a dog. Seventy-six point one two. Oh my God! She surpassed that goal. Margo went from one hundred and twenty pounds to fifty-five. Life has changed in a lot of ways for her. Instead of being the dog behind us, she's now the dog in front. There's just so much she has never been able to do because of her weight. What do you think, Margo May? Are we going to get in the pool today? What do you think? She never would have been able to do this when she weighed 60 pounds heavier. So we're going to see how this goes. Now that we've gone through this journey together, it's been such a joy seeing Margot take on all new experiences, things she was never able to do before. It makes me so happy to see her journey come full circle. The sky's the limit for Margot. After I wrote up a little blurb as to what Margot's perfect home would be, I just couldn't do it. Margot, come on. She's in her perfect home. It wasn't long after that that we signed the adoption papers. She is now officially part of the pack.